What a match this is in front of us. The countdown is on the kickoff. The Cowboys and the Eels, one of these teams, 80 minutes away from the NRL Grand Final, 80 minutes away from a shot at Premiership glory. The stakes have been raised, the stadium is rocking. This will be a special night, it is go time. And there is Jason Taumalolo with the first hit up of this Grand Final qualifier. We've got every angle covered for you tonight on Nines Wide Builder Sports and an early shift to Kyle Felt, who's going to be tackled just outside the 30. Showing their intentions early North Queensland. One of the buys of the season. Hitahiku, in terrific left centre. Jordan McLean, arguably in career best form in the middle for North Queensland. Ruben Cotter. What an opening set. They'll have an attacking kick here through Drinkwater. Kick for the winger Murray Taolungi. And Taolungi's got it. He's setting himself for the corner. Throws a pass back in field. They'll go into touch. Murray, the penalty minutes. Parramatta. The Eels getting a penalty. Wow, what a start here. by the Cowboys. Play two off the kickoff. They chance their arm out to the right hand side. Kyle Felt was pulled down late, but Murray Tuolungi searching for the corner, but was called offside by the referee. Uh, no, no, no. Hot start by the Cowboys. Well, they showed their intentions early with that quick shift to Kyle Felt. Yeah, well, it's. Uh... Little shot across the bows, you know, look out, here we come. You don't know what we're going to do tonight. So the Cowboys chant going up around the stadium. There is a spattering of Eels fans as well. Junior Polo. Three Cowboys in the tackle. Let's take your sideline. They're in his house, Jonathan Thurston. What an atmosphere. Certainly is salty and great conditions down here as well. 25 degrees, feels like 28. A little bit of humidity around, which make the ball a little bit slippery, but, and the wind is favoring the Cowboys at the moment, but not too much, so, as we see the first mistake by the Eels. Yeah, the early mistake. That was a bad blue by Regan Ken Villard. He, he threw it to him like he was 40 meters away, but he really put a hole in his chest. Murray Taolungi, 10 short of the halfway line, playing the ball. Up-tempo start from the home side. And they'll be in good field position at the end of this set. Well, they certainly will be now, because that's a set restart. Del Holmes takes the ball 10 metres into Parramatta Territory. Reese Robson goes to dummy half. Tom Alolo. Oh, coming away from that one was Papali'i. He staggered a little bit. He's okay. Is Robson going for a run and gets to the Eels 20. 19 away from the line. Robson playing at the Telmalolo. Townsend. Jeremiah Nanai. Tackled nine away. They're knocking on the door already here, North Queensland. Robson to Telmalolo, who's going to be stopped a couple of metres short of the line. Last play here for the Cowboys. Robson, the dummy half. Now Townsend. Puts on oh, Clint Gutherson, great pickup. Fantastic hands by Clint Gutherson. No doubt that ball will be a little bit slippery now, a few sets into this match, but the Parramatta Eels, they looked a little bit shell-shocked. The Cowboys full of running, full of energy from that week off. Reed Marty in game 100. Dummy half for Parramatta. Already getting through a heap of defensive work. Here's Regan Campbell-Gillard. Nanai, Talmalolo and Robson in the tackle as he stands. Home out of front rower. This kick from Moses from just outside the 20. Not a bad kick in the end, even though it was taken on the full there by Scott Drinkwater. One of many North Queensland players experiencing their first final series this year, Scott Drinkwater. They do have five premiership winners in their team. And Kyle Felt, Jason Salmololo, Valentine Holmes, Chad Townsend and Jordan McLean. And their experience when it comes to this time of the year. It's the first time that this ground, or indeed this city, has played host to a grand final qualifier. 
Dearden into the line. He's tackled. Whole Lord down low. Chad Townsend puts up a kick. Here's the contest. Then I went early. The Eels have got it. The crowd doesn't like it. They thought they saw a knock on there by Parramatta. Aaron Atkins uh, was right on the spot. Now a penalty to the Eels. A little pressure Marcus. reliever. Gonna hit you on the score. They've done well to hang on already, the Eels. The Cowboys are uh, like real good. Charging up through the middle and then getting it out wide. They're definitely, uh, they look really dangerous. Yeah, they're just gonna stay in it here, the Parramatta Eels. I think if they can get through a couple of sets of six, finish their sets with a nice kick deep in the Cowboys territory and work their way back into this match. Bailey Simonson playing the ball. He's in the team replacing Tom Opacic. Ruled out through injury as Campbell Gillard plays it. Sean Lane slipping over. Marnie. Here's Dylan Brown drifting. Straightening the attack is the Cora starting the game in Jersey 17. Ryan Madison will come off the bench at some stage. Brown to Moses. Gutherson slipped away from Holmes. Can't get away from Tom Gilbert. Last play here for Parramatta. Moses just had to reach for that one. Gets away from Tom Gilbert. Still alive. Throws the pass and it's play on here for Papalini. And here it is, the first try of the game. Will Honestly, call the, call the coppers. <laughs> that went six metres forward, that pass. Wow. He's put under a lot of pressure, Mitch Moses. It's an area of the game that looks like the Cowboys have identified Fatty. They come after him. But he found a way to get the ball away to a, a teammate. Just watch the replay here, Harvey Norman replay. We may find this ball has travelled, yeah, it's travelled about a metre and a half forward, but we can't judge on that. After the fact, that's a try. Will Penasini, Parramatta, 4-0. Crowd doesn't like it much. No. There's 25 journalists in the box next door. They're looking at us, <laughs> shaking their heads. They're in dismay. Anyway, it's That's four points, buddy. Yeah. And, and against the run of play, no doubt about it. First time they were down there. Oh, look at the Telstra fan cam. They're Parallel. loving it at Paraleagues. Paraleagues. They're going off. Down here, JT. Yeah, the Cowboys started off really well, so they can't let that rattle them. Uh, this is the mental resolve that Toddy Payton's been talking about, making sure that, you know, when things go against them, that they still hang in there. So while this has come against the run of play, they've got to make sure that they get a good set next set. Now Moses. Andrew Johns was talking pre-game about the importance of goal kicking in these big games. And Moses lots that one. Will Penasini, and for the second week in a row, he scores the opening try for the Eels. On the back foot for the opening eight minutes or so. And they score first, the Eels. Reed Marnie helping himself to four or five metres. Campbell Gillard gets up over the 20. Jeremiah Nanai, Chad Townsend there. Wonder what Todd Payton is thinking. Scoreless after a very good start and being the first team to concede. Well, would have been a little bit disappointed with that, but I think most coaches, they just want to get on with it now, forget about what's happened, think about the next job. Moses from inside the 40. Straight down the ground. Taolungi for North Queensland. Polo, one of the leading chasers down there. In fact, both front rowers were there. Kyle Felt taking a hit up 
and he's lost it here. Kyle felt it. Had a bit of help though. Handle Penalty North Queensland. And I like that one, the Cowboys. Great atmosphere at this magnificent stadium. Been a buzz around town for a few days now, Salty. Just look at those shots there from high above Queensland Country Bank Stadium. Been looking forward to this one for a couple of weeks now. North Queensland in the Parramatta Territory. Ruben Cotter. Oh. Junior Polo and Ruben Cotter colliding. Talmalolo. Strong charge from Jason Telmalolo. Within 30 metres of the Eels line. Townsend. Here's Drinkwater chiming in. Peter Hiku. Wrapped up 18 metres away. In North Queensland. Hit back straight away. Two tackles left in this set. Townsend. Chips over the top. Gutherson coming back. Kicks it dead. Repeat set coming. Yeah, too good, Clint Gutherson. Lovely little chip. Townsend, but uh, Clint, he wasn't back there covering, but he, he was just behind the line. Watch him, he was in, actually in the line and then saw the danger. Good fullback play. Uh, Here comes the dropout. They go conventional. No, it's short. It's almost becoming the norm. Now that's a knock on from Kyle Feld, is it? No, didn't touch Kyle Feld's hand. Robson, Townsend, Jordan McLean. Tackled eight metres away. Reese Robson, set restart. Six more tackles here for the Cowboys. Dearden, the straight running Gilbert. Papaliki down low, Moses over the top. Robson, the dummy half. Chad Townsend, Ruben Cotter now, spinning away from Marnie, who comes again with the help of Dylan Brown. The representative forward will play the ball eight metres away from the line. Scott Drinkwater goes into the line. He's tackled. Five away from the try line. Jeremiah Nanai. Now Chad Townsend. Ruben Potter. Potter for the line. Yes, oh. Ruben Potter. And the Cowboys hit back. Oh, you bloody beauty. What a ripper. What a great try from a really good, just hard-working player that he is, Ruben Cotter. He started for Queensland in game one. He was outstanding. And look at this. Just run hard, son. And that's exactly what he does on the Harvey Norman replay. It's a simple play, but just determination and strength and will. That's what gets in there. Yeah, and it just looked like it was just going to be a little setup play with Chad Townsend dropping off Ruben Cotter, but he's seen some space. You see the 17 for Parramatta, Murata near Corey. He was at marker on that last play of the ball, and he just took a couple of steps out of that position, which opened up the space for Reuben Cotter. Great hit back by the Cowboys. Oh, and there's the Telstra fan cam. Cowboys faithful, they're loving that. Down to you, JT. Yeah, it was Clint Gutherson who was in the line, right on the try line, and then as the ball has gone past, he's gone out to cover in from behind. There he is, first off the ruck. He's telling Murata to get there. Murata's that first marker. He's too slow to get there because Gutho's gone behind the ruck, behind the play defensive line. That's opened that up for Ruben Cotter to get through. So they've hit back nicely, the Cowboys. Ruben Cotter with the first Cowboys try of the night. Now Valentine Holmes to convert. Another one of the game's real sharp shooters. And he snuck it through. A try apiece in this grand final qualifier 
So much at stake tonight. Hope you're enjoying your Friday night. How good is September rugby league? I have to pardon my exuberance there, but I just love it when a hard worker does his job and just gets over the line. Fantastic. Remind you of anyone? Wayne Pierce. <laughs> Potter, the try scorer. Polor and Campbell Gillard in the tackle. Robson, some neat work out of dummy half. Eight short of halfway, playing the ball. Here's Gordon McLean. That's a strong charge. And a quick play the ball as well. Townsend puts it high. Gutherson takes it well. And a good chase there from the Cowboys, led by Jeremiah Nanai. Sebo. You almost hear the chant from Parramatta Leagues from here when he touches the ball. Sebo, he goes Blake. Searching and scheming. Penasini. The Eels try scorer. Tough time coming out of their own half here. Parramatta, although that'll help. Gillard, Gutherson. Still going. Gets up. Neat work from Valentine Holmes, but that's good in a change of passing. And now the Eels on the front foot on the last tackle. Dylan Brown, they're running it. Lane, Simonson. Good find, Sebo. Bend over. Held, it's going to be a turnover. We've just got a trainer in backfield watching Isaiah Papali, I think it is. He was one of the men involved in those lovely passes leading up to the Gutherson line break. Yeah, he's going to come from the field now. He's just out of screen. Just beyond halfway. Here he is now. It was a lovely piece of play, wasn't it, from Parramatta? Hold up. Some short hands yeah, between forwards. Really good support play. And, and a nice uh, sportsman like act, Jason Tamalolo, actually stayed with Papali'i. Thought he was in a bit of trouble. Just hung with him all that time. Well, that was the one from yeah. earlier. That put him in trouble. Now, Isaiah Papali, he, he's been in the middle of a fair bit. Jason. Chad. So Are Jason Tamalolo being, being called out here. Either, aren't we? G, if we move that far. Okay. Let's have a listen. No, well, mate, he's going to go to the bin. The tackle on Papali here, Whoa. his shoulder up there, right in four, so you're in the bin. Ten in the bin. For a shoulder charge, you heard the explanation there from Grant Atkins on Isaiah Papali'i, who has been forced from the field. So the Cowboys are down to 12. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's high contact. I don't think it's a shoulder charge because the arm wasn't tucked, but that, that's high contact for sure. Well, that will certainly be a talking point should the Cowboys win. There's no penalty. Sin bin, but no penalty. That's strange. Move, Junior! Well, the play gets binned and no penalty. Yeah, no, actually, the Cowboys win. <laughs> yeah, the Cowboys win. I don't know, maybe the play had gone on too long to, to warrant going back there. Who, oh, who knows, mate? It's a mystery <laughs> these days. Dead set mystery. Six points all. 13 on 12 for the next nine and a half minutes. The Eels with a one man advantage. It's an important player to lose as well, too, for North Queensland, being Jason Salmalolo. Can the Eels make the most of it? Well, they've got defending to do now. Here's Reuben Potter. Right in the centre of Queensland Country Bank Stadium. Gilbert. Dolphins bound in 2023. But what a season he's having for North Queensland. Jordan McLean. And rolling downfield here, the Cowboys. Townsend and Nanai. Nice bit of footwork from Nanai. Dylan Brown did very well defensively. Now Drinkwater out of dummy half on the last. 
Fires a pass out the back. Robson's got it. Grab a kick. Gutherson gets it on the bounce for the Eels. Looks like Robson doesn't kick much. Oh, <laughs> wasn't his best. Danica, Danica with an injury update. Yeah, some relatively positive news for the Parramatta Eels. Isaiah Papali'i has been classified as a Category 2, so that means he's not automatically ruled out for the evening. He still has to go through his 15-minute HIA protocols and has to pass that to come back onto the field. All right, so thank you, Danica. Here's Regan Campbell-Gillard. It'll be an important one for the Eels. Such an important... Cog in their wheels, Isaiah Pumbley. E. Here's Lane. There was a play taken out. Suspicion for Gunderson. He was. It's a penalty here to Parramatta. Yeah, he's sweeping Second. around the back on Clint that Gutherson. play where Sean Lane just got that short ball. Peter Hiku. He come out of the line and hit Gutherson. You see here, Peter Hiku. He was hit on suspicion, but you just yeah, you can't do that these days. So the Eels now. What an opportunity this is for them to reclaim the lead. Campbell Gillard playing it, 29 metres away. Marty dummy to Lane, almost split them. Lane to dummy half. Juggle there from Brown. He takes the line on. Thought about a pass there to Ryan Madison, hung on to it. Now then, on the charge here, the Eels, Regan Campbell Gillard. Scores a try for Parramatta, and they hit back and back in front the Eels. Yeah, 12 men. That's hurt them. Missing one of their middle players, and the gap was there. It was a great pass on the Harvey Norman replay. Pretty sure it was from Ryan Madison who's on there. That's a great ball. The fence was all over the place. Chad Townsend probably didn't have to come in at that stage, and therefore created the gap. Yeah, lovely ball playing here. Madison, he's just entered the field after coming off the bench. And another front rower gets across the stripe. Fatty, well done. Yeah, but it was the defensive read from Chad Townsend. There's a Telstra fan cam. A few para fans up here in Townsville. The read from Chad Townsend, with the presence of Junior Bolo running that short line. He come in to help Nanai and create the space on the outside. Here's the conversion from Moses, it's there. Oh, what a game. What a night. The centre of the Rugby League universe tonight. Queensland Country Bank Stadium. Great view from high above. Cowboys to restart play. The Eels leading by six. Polor runs into Cohen Hess, who's on the field for North Queensland. The Cowboys, Brown to Lane. Picks up some good yardage there, Lane. Hess and Townsend in the tackle there. Oh, the dummy from Madison. Campbell Gillard was sailing through a hole, but Madison elected to take the tackle. Grant, yeah, forward pass. They found that. He got one. So that's, uh, that's good. Good for the North Queensland team, that's for sure. Yeah, it was good timing, Fatty, wasn't it? That call for the Cowboys with just under five minutes remaining. The sin bidding of Jason Taumalolo. The Parramatta Eels are just starting to find a few inroads and starting to build momentum through their big men. This will be a welcome rest for the Cowboys. Try and work their way back into this match. They'll feed the scrum on the halfway line. Quarter of the game gone. Parramatta leading by six. Kyle Felt, first receiver from the scrum. Out in the 
Bora, one of the defenders there for the Eels. Tom Gilbert, tackled by Madison, gets up, plays it to Robson, who finds Cohen. Yes, there's a good charge. That's a, that's a good one. 20 metres away from the line. Robson to Dearden. Yeah, Valentine owns Taolangi, they're in the touch. Oh. No Taolangi colliding with the advertising sign. They ran out of room, good defence, Parramatta. Yeah, exactly right, Salty. They ran out of room, and a lot just of their movement down that short side line. was heading towards that corner oh, post, and just in. the last pass that Parramatta defence did a really good job, just showed them the sideline. So Tao Lungi across it. Marnie oh, to dummy half. Some good touches. Ryan oh, Madison since wait. coming off the... Bench tonight, originally named to start. Now Campbell Gillard finds Lane. Tomorrow night, this is going to be good. Last year's grand finalists facing off for the preliminary final. It's Penrith against South Sydney, the Cool Stadium. From 7 o'clock on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Hold on. On the last. Now Moses, little kick. Here they come over to the touch. Yeah, Munger bad, Blake wanted it, but not, not a bad idea, Soldy. He seen a little bit of space there in behind the defensive line to where Scott Drinkwater was defending. And he just got just got an awful bounce. It was a kick towards the right, end up going across the right hand touch line, but Munger Blake got his hands on that Stay football. Back. Let's go! Just over two minutes before Taumalolo is back on the field. Let's go, Chad! Hold! Go. No tackles. Kyle Felt taking a run for North Short Queensland. Move. Hold, hold, hold! It's one of the real special weekends of the year. Grand final qualifiers. Two games with so much on the line. And invariably, they go right down to the wire. Cotter, short to Cohen Hess. Hess plays it just inside Parramatta territory. Tackle four, drink order. Just held that one up, goes to Nanai. Tackle again down low by Brown. So Sean Lane receiving treatment in back play. Here's the last tackle. Blake underneath it. He's put it down. It's a knock on. Got the trainer down there. We've got to play down on the 40 metre yeah, line. Sean Lane. Yeah, I think, I think there was a head clash back here a couple of tackles ago. Sean Lane's been, he copped the knock up high. Oh, it's a finger. A poke in the eye from his teammate Dylan Brown. There's the mistake from Wunga Blake. Well, down to you, Danica, with an injury update for us. Yes, well, as Sean Lane comes from the field, some positive news for the Eels. Isaiah Papali'i has passed his HIA, and he'll be back on the field in about four and a half minutes' time. There is good news. Bryce Cartwright goes on for Sean Lane. We haven't seen a lot of him this season, but he, he has got some skill. He can make a difference if he wants to. Cowboys through Peter Hiku. Ten away from the Eels line. A minute away from Jason Salmalolo rejoining the action. Dearden, Townsend, Luciano Leilua. Important tackle down low from Oregon Kafusi. Now Ruben Cotter, dummy, throws himself into the Eels line. He's tackled by Campbell Gillard and Kafusi was there again. Robson. Dearden, it's a set restart. Tom Dearden, still going Dearden. Tackled two metres away. Full set of six in front of the Cowboys now. Robson, long pass, Townsend, short, three quarter, Holmes. Good tackle, Wanga Blake, a try saver. Holmes plays the ball to drink water. Now Townsend, Cohen Hess. Hess fighting in the tackle. 
Rodney Cora holding him up. Robson, the right lure. Luciano will get there. Forces his way over. And the Tiger come Cowboys scores a try. Yeah, the crowd let us know that one. <laughs> they went up. And in his second touch, just come on the field. Play Lua. He's had a good season since he transferred from the Tigers to the Cowboys. He's been in pretty good form. Now it's just a good, strong, hard run on the Harvey Norman replay. We shall see it. The nice little play, dummy to the right, and then he could have passed, but he just took him on. They tried to carry him into touch, but uh, it would appear he's got the ball down. We might see it on this angle. Yeah. Lovely vision there by Reese Robson. They picked out, they had a, a man over on that short side. Try confirmed for the Cowboys. Mitch Moses was caught up at Mark, who actually went straight to the referee. Once Leilua went across the stripe and complained about being held at marker. Just there, he just had it. He got held up, he stumbled, and that's how they got caught with an overlap. But it was a great try. Strong run again by Luciano, and he got up. He was a happy man. Luciano Leilua. Look at Shrine. What about the reaction? Not only there of the players, but look at the fans. The games mean more this time of the year. The biggest fan there was Murray Taolungi in that shot. Luciano Leilua. And here's Valentine Holmes. From the touchline, Holmes misses. Sorry, mate. A two-point ball game. No matter in front, 12-10. Look at this, Telmalolo back into the action. On the charge. See, he doesn't care. He doesn't care there's four blokes in front of him. He just wants to run through them. Good run too from Leilua. Look at this, rolling downfield now. Reese Robson with a good run. Tackle three, five short of the halfway line. Now drink water. Goes into Eels territory. It's a good tackle there from Madison. Potter. Spun away from Marty. Tackled by Gillard. And Cartwright. Last tackle. Drink water. Good take. Good take from Clint Gutherson. Luciano Leilua with the tackle. Has he gone on too long? He has. He's been tidy at the back, hasn't he? Clint Gutherson tonight. Mix of high ball catching, cleaning up some balls along the ground. He's a wonderful captain. He's had another great season. Big reason why the Parramatta Eels are sitting in a prelim two points ahead of the Cowboys. Parramatta coming out of their own half. Oregon Kafusi. Marty to dummy half. Oregon Campbell Gillard passes this time. Parramatta into the Cowboys territory through Madison. Oh, there's a collision. <laughs> Good evening, Regan. <laughs> Brown. Now Moses goes short. What a run this is. The pass from Papalini evades everybody. And the Cowboys have got it. If it oh. goes to hand, they're in. Well, that deserved better, no doubt about it. Great play from the Eels. A few hands on hitch now. Hands on their heads for the Cowboys. They're starting to struggle a bit. 
That deserved better, that break. Deserved a try. When you talk about the, the Cowboys players looking a little bit fatigued, Fatty, this is the argument that a lot of people talk about this time of year. Would you prefer the week off? Look at this man. He's enjoying a week off. He doesn't care. <laughs> Do you want the week off or do you want to continue playing? Time will tell. Steve-O lets that one bounce. Gets to the 20 before he's tackled by Jeremiah Nana and Peter Hiku. There's some stinging defence here from the Cowboys. Lua in that tackle. matter on their own 30. He played, play today. Breakneck speed this game. He had to like that pass. Let's play on here for Madison. Now Moses. It's up a kick and that came off the side of the boot. It's one bounce. Into the crowd. Well, nearly went into the crowd but it was out in the full anyway. Well, they've been at him all night. The Cowboys' defensive players, any chance they get to go at Mitch Moses on those last plays. They've been out and putting a lot of pressure on his kick. That time they got a reward for it. Work hard, get reward. Wait there, Scott, I'll take him back 10. He both played in games at this time of the year, the grand final qualifiers, Paul, that was the preliminary final, the one game. Is it? It's one of the hardest games to win, this one, knowing you're only a, a week away from the grand final. Yeah, you've got to take your eye off the grand final and just concentrate on what's happening in front of you. Keeping him, it's hard, it's hard to do that, you know, because that's the prize, but you've just got to stay in focus on the day and just, just take care of what's in front of you, which is the opposing team. Townsend, Nanai, dummy to Hiku, gets away from Brown, then passes to Hiku, and Sebo and Brown wrap up the Cowboys' centre. Townsend, drifting, looks up at his half partner, Dearden, now Drinkwater, Leilua, into space, Penasini does well. Last tackle, 10 away here, the Cowboys, Tom Dearden. Puts in a kick. It's for Kyle Fell. who had it and lost it. Play on. Play and on. Gutherson's got it. It's play on here for the Eels. Great contest again for the football. I think the target was Jeremiah and the night. He scored plenty of tries this year. He scored 17. Probably 15 of those have been off kicks. But Kyle Fell, he just couldn't hold on to that football. There's a nice offload, beautiful offload it was from Cole Law to Brown. That helps you get out of your own end. Now Moses, into the line he goes. Dearden makes the tackle. Papali'i to dummy half. Oregon Kafusi, Cartwright, Cole Law, Brown. Oh, this is Cartwright here. And Riven back in the tackle from Pitahiku. Ryan Madison stands in the tackle. Moses under pressure from Reuben Cotter again. And that kick has gone out on the full again. Another shake. He would have hit two kicks in like that all year. Semi-final pressure. That's where it does to qualifying final pressure. And just another big play, Reuben Cotter. Thank you. So you mentioned earlier when he scored that try, it's just a hard worker, but getting out, putting pressure on the kickers, which reward for his football side again. Got to really show your support for your side. Back your team with a custom Telstra fan banner. Search Telstra fan banner now. Griffin Neem's just come on for the Cowboys. He's a good one. Watch him go. Great season. Tom Malolo. Get up now. This is a dummy half run. Hold. Wait. Go for it. Reek, it's square. 
Townsend. Drink water. Nanai, bring the move. Goes on his own, Jeremiah. Oh. Nanai, oh, they've stopped him. That's great defence. Gutherson was there, along with Simonson. Townsend. Kicks on the last. Reed Marnie oh, saves the day for his team. Big play. Big play, Reed Marnie. If he had that back again, then I probably should have passed it. Unmarked then on the outside, and Kyle Felt. He scored a thousand tries this year, then I. But not on that occasion. Look at this swarming defence from the Cowboys. Polo. With a good run, getting his team on the front foot. Now Gutherson fires a pass, and Simonson had to dive for that one. On the last, he got outside their 20. Brown. Cal Holmes knocks that one back, but he knocked it into the path of Murray Teller. You've got it. Say top speed, but he got it at speed. Yeah, and a huge result for the Cowboys. They put a lot of effort in that set of six defensively. Oh, no, no, not he's come undone. Paulo Got came in low two. and crunched him. Right Al Holmes. In the middle. What a spectacular Scrum match. I mean, how good is it watching the best that we've got this time of year? You've come down to the four best teams of the year, and two of them putting on a magnificent display tonight. Reed Marnie. Leading the tackles, right in the middle there. Come in. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. Two-point ball game inside the last four minutes of the first half. Massive four minutes it is before the break. Neither team will want to concede here. Lee E, one metre in the Cowboys territory, go the Eels. Get on now, come on! The crowd well involved as Kafusi playing it. Brown, Dylan Brown, short to Bryce Cartwright, set restart, oh, he threw it away. Just when the siren sounded in the ground for a set restart, the pass went straight to Jeremiah Nanai. Yeah, it's just time and place, wasn't it? For Bryce Cartwright, we all know he's got that great ability to get a late offload, but when there's several Cowboys jerseys in between him and his teammates. Griffin name. And the You're on his legs. Help, it came out. You're on his legs. It was a leg pull. A leg pull from Grant Atkins. Down to you, Danica. Some good news for Parramatta. Sean Lane has passed his HIA. His eye is looking a bit red, but he'll be back on the field in a few seconds' time. Looks like a challenge here from Clint yes. Gutherson. Yes. Late. Captain's challenge. I've got ruck interference. On an earn the right tackle. And if the challenge is unsuccessful, it'll be an interesting decision for the Cowboys. Griffin Neem's trying to get up. Players on top of him, he's trying to get up, and then... It was the player running, it was Kafusi. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah. Griffith Neem wins a ruck and finds his front. Junior Paulo then attempts to re-grip. The challenge is unsuccessful. So what to do now for the Cowboys? Um, 40 metres out, they've got the wind behind it, yeah, they'll have a shot at goal. Time on, no more challenges, Good call. No more challenges. Well, the two points on offer here for... For the Cowboys. Sean Lane back on the field for Parramatta. Uh, I was down on the field before Salty, uh, before the game, and 
There's no flags on the goalpost here, which is interesting. But let me tell you, he's got quite a good breeze behind him, Val Holmes. He's a pretty good... He's Brad Arthur. But he's a pretty good kick of the football too, Fatty. I've seen him many times, and I know it's a very different environment now in the middle of a match. But at training, I've seen him slot these kicks from halfway easily. Could you have got this? Would you have got this? You need a slight breeze behind the back. Oh, cyclone. <laughs> <laughs> Is one of yours at Brookvale from about this far out? <laughs> two from two, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Did you see his topo a few weeks back in Gold Coast? Yeah, I am 63. <laughs> There's a great shot. The crowd will tell the story. It's there. We're all locked up at 12 all. Now, tomorrow night, the NRL preliminary finals continue here on nine. It's the Panthers taking on the Rabbitohs in an epic grand final qualifier from a core stadium. It all starts at 7 p.m. right here on your home of NRL finals footy, nine's wide world of sports. That'll be brilliant. Bring it on. We have got a great one on our hands here tonight. 12 all in the shadows of half time. Yeah, remembering that man there, he spent 10 minutes in the sin bin. So I think Todd Payton, he'll be extremely happy with their effort in this oh. first half. Ruben Cotter, the man on the screen, he's had a huge first 40 minutes. Parramatta kick off. No time for this. One more play. Ruben Cotter playing the ball. The siren will sound. Luciano Leilua will be tackled. And that is half time. Well, both sets of fans will stand up and cheer their respective teams. That has been a terrific half of football. And there is nothing splitting them. Half time in the grand final qualifier. The Cowboys and the Eels locked up at 12 all. Who's going to have the most energy to finish this match? That's, that's the question. Well, both teams have missed chances to score. Uh, but they've got to forget about that. Paramount is right in this. They've played some good footy today. A couple of kicks out in the full, which have hurt them as well. This, uh, this could end up in a... Extra time, field goal, who knows? Isaiah Papali playing the ball for the Eels. And Madison getting a pass away to Oregon Kafusi, who's tackled by Jeremiah Nanai. And Madison gets a pass away. Reed Marnie, a couple of metres short of the halfway line. Two tackles left in this set for the Eels. Moses. Gives it to Papali'i. Put on the halfway line. Last play here for Parramatta. Moses puts in a kick. Drink water underneath it for North Queensland. Takes it on his own 10. Reed Marnie leading the chase. He's leading the tackle count tonight as well. He's been busy in game number 100. The Parramatta hooker. Off to the Bulldogs next season. Hiku playing it. Now Holmes looking to accelerate. Madison and Brown wrap him up. Griffin Need. Still going forward. Yeah, good. good extra five metres there, just through effort. Chad Townsend puts in a kick on the last. Luke Gutherson. It's up over the 20. Both teams just going set for set in the opening minutes of the second half. Yeah, nothing too extravagant from both sides in this second 40 minutes, just working their way back into the match again. On the outside back running. Marnie to dummy half. Here's Bailey Simonson. Good tackle from Nanai down low. Neem over the top. 
Not the first time tonight no. we've seen a player slip over. That time it was Ryan Madison and Sean Lane. And he's their footing a few times. Murray oh, Tauangi. Tackled outside the 20. Yeah, a few players have been losing their footing tonight, Ken. Yeah, it does. And, and from this high view, it actually looks like the field sort of under the surface is maybe a little bit damp. It's, it's been quite warm up here in North Queensland. Maybe the sprinklers have been left on over the last few days just to get it in tip-top condition. JT might have an opinion on that down there. JT? Uh, that's, that's Brad Fitlow, who's the weatherman <laughs> down here. So, <laughs> no opinion, but yeah, no, it's normally as they get another six again, the Cowboys, it is normally a little bit slippery underfoot here. But as you can see, it's been ripped up a little bit, but... Ruben Cotter. Playing the ball on the last. Chad Townsend with that kick. Listen to Sivo. Nowhere to go for Mike Acevo. He's grabbed on the Griffin Neem there, but eventually plays the ball and... With a run out of dummy half. Neem with the tackle. Surrender. Tough yards here for the Eels. Crush a tackle here. Players tackle stops. Three. And we'll have a look. Yeah, Bailey Simonson. Tackle three. Oh, it's just, it, play on. It was no, the arm of Reese Robson. That's, no, that's not a crusher. Now will he have Playing to leave the, the field? Because he stayed on the ground for a Back here, Griffin. length of time. And he's able to play the ball, Bailey Simonson. Let's play on here for the Eels. Through Ryan Madison. Nine short of the halfway line. Give you pole all. Just inside Cowboys territory. Parramatta now on the last. Moses under pressure again. That time it was Potter and Neem. Got the kick away, and here's Bowie Taolungi, who chased there too from the Eels. Aside from that very short stoppage for Bailey Simonson, the ball has been in play pretty much since the kickoff for the second half. Yeah, it's been non-stop. Both teams, though, I feel as like they're playing a little bit conservative. 12 all. Hands on a knife's edge. It's like they're waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Or for them to present an opportunity rather than going looking for it. Townsend on the last. Sivo takes that one. The Eels fans will be wanting him to wind up. Oh. Oh, oh, from Jambo oh, and I. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, he came back at a thousand miles an hour. Oh, good hit. That's a he's good been hit. good since he's been on me. Really good. That's hurt. On the Blake as well. Oh. Stung him. Now Lane. Here's an opportunity for Parramatta. It's tackle four. They're just outside the Cowboys' 20. Brown. Now Madison. Moses. Gutherson. Penasini. Great footwork. Got away from Dean and gets up. Goes again. Tackles. Seven metres away from the line. There's some good footy there from the Eels. Here's the last. And they get a repeat set. They might get something better. There's the kick. Oh, good take. Jeremiah and I defusing the situation. Cowboys have got the ball. Well, he's good under the ball. We know that. We've seen that up the other end of the field, haven't we, Soldy? Scoring plenty of tries. Great defence by the Cowboys, but it was that one shift by Parramatta. It's the first shift of the football we've seen in the second half as Cole Felt goes on a strong run. Now Valentine Holmes. Ten metres apiece there for two of the Cowboys' backs. Now Dearden into the line. Luciano Leilua. Hair pull. Yeah, he pulled his hair, just checked with a touch touch. Touch touch, not a chair. He yanked it. Accidental, of course. I understand. I 
Jersey. Buddy? Yeah. It's a penalty. North Queensland. Oh, hang on. Come on. Here we go. All right. Play on. The penalty to North on Queensland. Hey, there we go. Short the cotter. Chad Townsend, one way, right back the other with Deanna. Now Drinkwater. Drinkwater in a step, it opened up for him. Couldn't find Griffin Neen. He's held there by Reed Marnie. Plays the ball, 10 away from the line. Big opportunity now for the Cowboys. Townsend, Nanai, Hiku. Peter Hiku! Get off, go! He's tackled by Sebo. And Brown was there as well. Tell Malolo. Jason Talmalolo, the ball comes free. And it's a penalty North right. Queensland. Yeah, great movement of the football. Had the Parramatta defence all over the shop. They did well to hold on there. And I think the, the Cowboys, I think they'll take the two points on offer. Chad Townsend. Two points. Oh, I wouldn't. Talmalolo. Well, there they are. They'll, they'll take the two. Cowboys, the penalty from right in front. We're about to take the lead by two points. Yeah, give two points for yeah, the it's Cowboys. Probably, it's probably the sensible play, but I, I reckon they've got them by the jugular down here right now, 10 metres out. They probably would have scored, but you never know. Atmosphere here at Queensland Country Bank Stadium. That play they put on before, that's an old Canberra play. That's Ricky Stewart to Daly on the, on the Belcher. Right up the middle, that one. Classic. Val Holmes from in front. That's the two points. First time tonight, that man team there, Todd Payton, his side is in front. Now boys in front by two. This roller coaster ride of a game has got many twists and turns to come over the course of the next half an hour or so. Here we go, just sit back and watch that. Jason Salmalolo and Isaiah Papali, he almost had a shot at the football there. Salmalolo did not a hold on to it. Robson, 10 short of halfway. Connor. Good tackle, Marty down low, Madison and Polo there as well. Griffin knee. Under Parramatta territory. Goes the New Zealander. Drinkwater driving that kick or tried to down in the corner, but that's good positional play there from Clint Gutherson. An equally good chase from the kicker, Scott Drinkwater. Yeah, I think he was looking for more purchase on that football there, Soldier. He's looking for that corner post to try and turn Gutherson around to try and catch him. Back foot, great defence again by the Cowboys. They've been surging. Oh, look at they? that, that is good. Going early! Fucking help. Papali'i. Wow, they put five tackles, they moved about 15 metres. That's outstanding defence. 
Regan Campbell Gillard is back on the field for the Eels. His drink water. Finds Kyle Felt. Room to move here for Felt. Good tackle. Sean Lane doing well. Hiku. Tackles. Sort of halfway. Cowboys in front by two. Jeremiah and I on the halfway line. Halfway through this set for North Queensland. Griffin Neen gets a pass to Deanon. Tom Deanon. Tackle there by Gutherson. Did well to make the initial contact. Campbell Gillard there as well. Now Drinkwater. Here they go. Holmes. Tellangi. Mary Tellangi. With a try in the corner for North Queensland. And this place erupts. And what a play it was by the Cowboys. And in particular, Val Holmes. Started lovely in field by Griffin Neem and Tom Deard and Harvey Norman replay just here a nice little one-on-one -on -one opportunity an offload to Tom Deard and he chose to take the tackle good decision by the young half and from there they have Parramatta's right edge backing off and the lovely ball there by Drinkwater the ability of Holmes to catch and pass was just outstanding his first decision here was to hit the hole of this pass from Drinkwater. Just watch this. He sees Blake come in, stops on his run, has the balance to pass. And Tawalangi, a lovely finish in the corner. Jonathan Thurston. Yeah, it was great lead up by Scotty Drinkwater. When he gets the ball, he puts a goose step on, which holds up Isaiah Papali'i. And he's able to attract Mitch Moses. When he comes ready, the footwork, it attracts Mitch Moses with catch Will Panasini and then Val Holmes. The great work to catch and pass and put Murray into the corner. Great work from the Cowboys. It makes a difference when, you know, Val Holmes runs that straight line rather than towards the corner post. That just puts pressure on everyone. But he ran the straight line. The defence felt as though it had to come in, but four points to Taolungi. But surely he can give one or two to Griffin Neen because he started it all right back in the middle of the field. He's got some skill, hasn't he? He's, he's had a great game since he's been on. He showed that he's tough and rough and he can play that way. But that's an, another string to his bow that no one has really seen. That great offload. Well, a tight game. This is a big kick for Valentine Holmes to make it an eight-point ball game. He struck it magnificently. It's there. Tao Lungi, 17 tries for the year. He's now level with Jeremiah Nanai, leading try scoring stat for the Cowboys. He's your man again, Paul Griffin Neen. Good by Bailey Simonson, one of the defenders there for Parramatta. Eight point lead for North Queensland. Strong charge from Tom Gilbert. Starting the back row. Looks like he's in the middle here now for North Queensland. Lailua standing in the tackle. Jason Talmalolo trying to wind up. Madison Lane and Marnie there to put him on his back. Last play here for North Queensland. Drinkwater. Dear it. Puts it over the top, one bounce. Gutherson takes it. Searching for an opportunity, but that's a good chase from Tom Gilbert. Now Brown. No matter need the response. Ali Simonson, tackled by Robson. 
Trying the ball to Marty. It's a good run from Regan Campbell Gillard. With a name in the tackle. Papali'i. Can't get an offload away because Tom Dearden had his hand around. The arm carrying the ball. Now Moses. Down the line. Puts in a grubber kick. And it's been cleaned up there by Val Hunt. Well, he he knocked it off. A little ball. It was. I, I thought he hung on to it. And yeah, no, Val saying challenge straight away. Hurry up if you want it. Yeah, no, as soon as he got as soon as he got to his feet and seen that referee call a knock on. It looked like he it was about Mate, to go I've forward. Mate, I've got a uh, captain's right challenge from the Cowboys. In. Decision of knock on by Val Holmes. Yeah, from where we're sitting, it looked like he tried to drag the football back into his possession, didn't it? Mitchell Moses kicks the ball. Eels chasers are on side. He does not knock the ball forward. He grapples with it, and I, to me, he's always dragging it backwards. Still got his hand on it, his left hand grabs it and pulls it back. I think that's fine. Yeah. The right Valentine hand. Holmes' hands remain on the ball, yeah. and he's pulling it back towards his own dead ball line. The challenge is successful. Well done, Paul. Well done, Fat. You I'll, got that one. I'll, I'll be in the bunker next year. Yeah. <laughs> See you, Channel 9. Bye bye. <laughs> Wait! Simon! Murray Tauwangi playing the ball for North Queensland. Oh, there's a hand. Campbell. Regan, Gillard. Campbell Gillard. Bang on Leilua. Tamalolo. Townsend. Wrapped up by Simonson. Now Townsend with the dummy half. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hang on. They've let it, lost it here. And Sean Lane's got it for the Eels. Here's an opportunity for Parramatta. Ryan Madison. Marty. Brown. Moses. Papali'i. 25 metres away. There's a charge from Murata Nakora. 10 metres away from the line. Eels fans starting to lift their team. Brown, he's two metres away from it. Can they score their first try of the second half? They're trailing by eight. Marty to Campbell, get on! Spot. More importantly, the referee points the spot, and the Eels are back. Well, that looked easy, didn't it? The Eels looked like they've been marking time for the last five or six minutes. But just a short, sharp run like that, that that's the bench on the try line. They didn't know what to do, the Harvey Norman replay. Look, they're all looking at the mark at the dummy half and not on the player who's taking the ball. Tamalolo, he goes, what, what happened there? He expected the player on the inside of him to stand up and challenge Regan Campbell Gillard, but he didn't. Yeah, there was a lot of it was a great formation by the Parramatta Eels out deep behind Regan Campbell Gillard, but he ran a lovely line at the space between Jordan McLean and, J and Jason Taumalolo was far too great. When you're defending on your trial line, you need to be much closer together, particularly when a man of Regan Campbell Gillard's side is charging onto the football. Two tries tonight for the big man. Mitch Moses to make it a two-point ball game, and he converts.
There he is, Regan Campbell Gillard for Stay his back. second try. He made it official by pointing to the spot. Down to you, JT. Yeah, he certainly made his intentions clear. Regan Campbell Gillard come flying out of the line with aggressive contact on Luciano Leilua earlier. And then he's got aggressive carry just to barge over for that try. So he's got his team right back in this game. remaining a two-point ball game second time in his career he scored two tries the last time was against the Warriors last year according to David Middleton our super stats man you had that on the top of your head Lane it's a pass to Marnie he finds Gutherson they come alive Parramatta the last few minutes, we've been on the front foot. Marnie, now Brown. Here's Murata Nakora. Started the game tonight. Last tackle. What a good set this has been for Parramatta. Brown to Moses. Kicks into the corner. Finds touch. Munga Blake was aiming onto it, but. That was a good result, Mitch Moses. He was hoping to try and keep that football in the field of play, put drink water under a bit of pressure, but same, same, good result. Cowboys coming off their own 10 metre line now. They have to do the hard yards. Now these are going to be tough yards for the Cowboys coming out of their own ends. Val Holmes. Here's Jordan McLean. And he's put on his back. He needed that run North Queensland from Jason Telmalolo on the last. Kicking from just short of the halfway line is Chad Townsend. Sebo by Hiku and Feltz. Gutherson, we run out of dummy half. Now Blake. Just short of the halfway line. 18 and a half minutes remaining. Regan Campbell Gillard. He's on a hat trick, Regan. Two tries tonight. Lane, nice ball. And look to high tackle, but he's given it. Yeah. Yep. Knock up high there from Kyle Fell. They're restless. Nice tackle, mate. You take the two here, Fatty. Just one. Junior Polo coming on. Can you give me the mark, June? Two. 18 minutes to go. Yeah, why not? Yep, they're going to take it. to be the uh, play of the land these days. Yeah. The referee's just pointed to the post. But I've got to be honest, in the last few minutes, it looks like the Cowboys are starting to paddle a bit. Especially defensively. Danica, what a crowd we've got here tonight. Yes, an incredible atmosphere tonight with this game so close. They have been riding every single second of it. And at the moment, the current attendance is 25,372 fans. And I have to say, the majority of that does have to go to North Queensland. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, just for those at home, they've the crowd certainly weren't booing Danica then. They're booing Mitch Moses lining up the penalty goal. Yeah, he tried to steal a couple of yards <laughs> from where the pen penalty was awarded. Four marks for trying. Mitchell. Big kick. Uh, if he slots this one, Soldy, what a finish we've got. Two point margin. This to level things up. Moses, oh, he shanked it. And no goal, it's gone dead. They'll get the ball back, Parramatta, but it remains a two-point lead for North Queensland. So 20 points to 18. Mandatory drop out from their own 20. 
Parramatta with the ball, but still trailing by two. Polo, nice offload. Gutherson getting more and more involved. Now Lane. Get off now, Charles! 30 metres away. Dylan Brown, dummy to Nakora. Now Moses, just a couple of And as A is tackled, Ailua was in there for the Cowboys. Polo, nice ball to Nakora. He's fighting in the tackle. Good offload to Regan Campbell Gillard. There's some terrific ball movement here from the Eels. Ten metres away from the line. Halfway through the set. Marty to Lane. Oh, oh no. They oh. missed out on the two a few minutes ago. Now they get four, possibly six. But more importantly, the Eels are in front through Mike Acebo. Well, the touchy was right there. He was on the spot once again. And if this ball is flat, this is one of the best passes. It was a no-looker. It is one of the best passes you will ever see. Short side play, Harvey Norman replay. Sean Lane turns his back, flick passes, blind pass to Mike Acebo. And he, even Mike Acebo's in shock. He's saying, how did he get that ball to me? I'll tell you how, it was a hoik. He oh, hoiked oh, it. Oh, oh. Had no clue where it was going, but it ended up in Sifo's hands. Oh, I love it at the Leagues Club. Yeah, oh, they're going on. And I'll tell you what, there, there may be a little bit of luck involved in that pass from Sean Lane, but you create your own luck, and he's been fantastic in the last 10 minutes of play. Mike Acevo, one try tonight, 13th for the season. Just look at Sean Lane here again. He just took them on, got to the outside of Townsend, and it was a blind pass. It was a blind pass, which made its way to Sebo. I think it might actually might have been touched by Felt on the run through. Getting some free advice there, Mitch Moses from the Cowboys fans behind him. But he's nailed it. What a kick. Here we go tomorrow night. The Panthers take on the Rabbitohs live from a course stadium in Homebush. Will the Bunnies upset the minor premiers in their quest for back-to-back -back premiership glory? Tune in right here from 7 o'clock. On your home of Rugby League, Nine's Wide World of Sports. Who do you like there tomorrow night, Paul? I'm going to stick with Penrith. Um, look, Stay back. they've been the best side all year, but it, they've got to control Latrell Mitchell. He's the, he's the guy that can beat them. They take care of him. Four-point lead here for Parramatta. They're full of running. That's some of the touches that Sean Lane has had in this second half. Thought he was about to get the ball again there from Dylan Brown, but Brown taking the line on himself. Here is Lane. Watch out, his other pass. A beauty to Marnie, to Gutherson. Good tackle. McLean with the tackle there on Gutherson. Campbell Gillard. Last play here for the Eels. Here's the kick. So Lungy underneath it, takes it. Risky pass to Drinkwater. Stand there. Stand there. Look at the tackle, Lungy. Well, it's Parramatta now who's on the surge. Their defence has picked up, and it looks like the Cowboys are the team that's paddling a bit. Chad Townsend needs to get in there and take control and sort them out. Felt playing it to Dearden, who finds Peter Hiku. 12 and a half minutes remaining. Ruben Potter to Jordan McLean. Last play for North Queensland. Townsend. Sebo underneath it. And he looked to wind up again here. Down to you, JT. 
Yeah, the Cowboys have used seven of their eight interchanges, and Jason Tamalolo is sitting on the bench. So with only under 12 minutes to go, it'll be very interesting to see when Toddy Payton brings him back on. So that would mean, JT, that how about now? It, and, and it would mean, too, that if he does come back on, that the Cowboys won't be using the hammer tonight. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. here he comes now. Jason Tamalolo is just warming up. He's got he's the ball. The referee says that's oh. going back. Yep, all backwards. And now Brown's got it. Last tackle here for the Eels. Gutherson, they go down the short side. Moses trying to weave it in the goal. Eric Cole fell to be caught the line. Here. Yeah, great touch, Mitch Moses. Yeah, confirmed, drop out. Lovely grubber so by Mitch here. Moses on the last play here. He found Jordan McLean on the short side. You see now the red boots going across your screen. He come late out of the tackle, which allowed Moses to take the ball all the way deep to the defensive line. Short drop out. A great take from Peter Hiku. Doing really well. And makes yardage. Super. What a play. Nearly the play of the match. In the conditions, what, 10 minutes to go? They're down, down by four. They needed that. Malolo, as we mentioned, back on the field. Dearden, Leilua, Luciano, breaking tackles, gets a pass away. Marty's knocked it on, it's play on here, and a fresh set of six for the Cowboys. Nanai, it is six again. Jeremiah Nanai oh. has gone through the legs of Potter. Jordan McLean's oh, got it. just need to settle down. And McLean is tackled. We're inside the last 10 minutes. This is tackle zero. Tamalolo, Val Holmes. Valentine Holmes now looks to accelerate his tackle. Junior Polor. Great tackle. Robson. Reese Robson for the line. He's tackled two metres away. Massive opportunity now for the Cowboys. Trailing by four. Tamalolo. Townsend, drink water. Kyle Felt on the charge for oh. the corner, reaches out, gets it down. Kyle Felt in the corner, a miraculous put down. They're going to check the try. touch line, I think. Oh, he's awarded it. Awarded it. The touch, he was pointing at the touch line. He wasn't sure, but they have awarded the try. They'll have a look at it, no doubt. Wow, that's a good comeback, isn't it? What a game this is. Oh, it looks like, hang on. Yeah. Time off. Oh, here we go. Tries under review on the touchline. Well, I think they were always going to have a look at this one. Oh, his foot, oh, his foot's out there already. Kyle Felt's left foot has touched the touchline. We have a decision. Touchy can't see that. What's happening there? He's two metres away. The boots are white and the stripe is white. Police. It's over here. The touch line's white. What do they actually Sorry, get mate. paid for? So close for Kyle Felt. <laughs> Probably got that down anyway. You know, it was just the foot. Disappointment there for Kyle Feld. It remains a four-point lead for the Eels. It's the 2021 Grand Final rematch for a place in the 2022 Grand Final. Experience the Panthers taking on the Rabbitohs live from McCall Stadium in Sydney tomorrow night. And don't forget the NRLW semi-finals doubleheader at Suncorp Stadium on Sunday. Get your seats at nrl.com slash tickets. Papali'i for Parramatta. 12 short of halfway. Eight and a half minutes left. Winning's drawing contest. 
Campbell Gillard playing it. Lane, devastating in the second half, Sean Lane. Moses, under pressure, and a high kick away, Taolani underneath it. Tao Lungi playing the ball. Here's Valentine Holmes. North Queensland so close to an equaliser through. Kyle Felt. Peter Hiku, 184 metres. Cliff Gutterson, 169. Cliff 153. Jeremiah Nanai playing the ball on the halfway line. Hot up to Telmalolo. Stands in the tackle. Last play. Chad Townsend. Puts it high. There'll be a contest. Gutherson does well. Good second half. Gutherson has been having. Well, he's been fantastic all game, Soldy. Well, seven minutes now. That's what stands between. Parramatta and a grand final berth for 2022. Can they seal this match? Can they find a way to hold off the, the Cowboys? We know the Cowboys are back themselves in like they did two weeks ago against the Sharks. They come from behind to win that one. Moses from inside the 40. Water. Do it off the back. Make sure it's Scott Drinkwater playing it just outside the 20. Kyle Feltz. And we've got some match winners. Here's a penalty. Oh, got, got him. Hey, 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 hey. Good play. Oh, that's experience for you. Yeah. He's been around a long time, Chad Townsend. He knew that was just a gimme. And they needed it. Importantly, too, if it was a, a few metres further on, it would have been a set restart. Since it was inside the 40, it was a, a penalty. Uh, slight force player being looked at the Parramatta line. So, Hamaso Tablai Fido looking to come on for North Queensland. Oh, there's a tackle, Junior. And a oh. oh, hello. Oh, it's a penalty. Uh, penalty, yeah. It'll be reviewed. It'll be reviewed, mate. Yeah, just it's saying to Chad Townsend, it'll be reviewed. What's in the car? Yes, uh, well. Could it be a sin yeah, bin? That's a good hit. And Ooh. Man, I can't hear anything in the moment. I don't, I personally... Not a whole heap in that. I don't yeah, think okay. no. putting it's down for a side. Time's off. Yeah, yeah. Fell on his back. Yeah. OK. Penalty here. Yeah, so no sin bin. That's good. That's a penalty here for North Queensland. We'll see that set play that we've seen a fortnight's time ago against the Sharks. Jason Talmalolo. Running in behind their, their set runners for a sweep play. Five minutes and 20 seconds left. Reuben Cotter now for North Queensland. 12 metres away from the line. Robson. Here's Townsend. Dearden. Drink water, Scott Drink water. He's brought down three metres short. That's tackle three. Halfway through the set. Dearden. Ruben Connor. Still alive here is Connor. Now he's wrapped up by Regan Campbell Gillard. Townsend. Jason Telmalolo looking to wind up. Now this will be six more. Dearden touched the hand of a kneel. 
And Tom Dearden almost getting through. Oregon Gafusi with an important tackle, along with Campbell Gillard. Full set of six in front of them here, Jordan McQueen. Tackle. Tackle. What a Sean ripper. Lane. Sean Lane again. Options both sides here for Robson. Goes to Townsend. Here's Nanai. He's wrapped up. Stirring defence from the Eels. The Cowboys. Four tackles in front of them. Knocked back to Talmalolo. Jason Talmalolo. He'll almost get there. He can see the try line in front of him. Robson. Dearden. Now drink water. Switches it from left to right. There's a oh. he's touched and Brown's got it. The kick from Townsend. Oh, he couldn't yeah. find Kyle Felt. The Eels have got the ball. Just missed his mark there. Felt was on the charge out wide. No good. The hook roller was there. The play was on for the kick from Kyle Felt. Mike Acevo, he was up on the line and infield. But it was Sean Lane, a huge play again from Sean Lane. He just put the hands out, he charged the football down, and he got possession back for his football side. Great play. Madison playing it. Three minutes left. Murray Talungi taking the ball on his own team. Scott Drinkwater. Kyle Felt. Murray Taolungi on the front hand to pick up there from Chad Townsend. Five, five of the North Queensland forwards are walking. They can hardly walk. They're going to have to find something in these last couple of minutes. Amasai Tabuai Fido playing the ball. Luciano Leilua. Leilua still going. Couldn't find support. Last play. Drink water with a kick. Here's the contest. Lane's got it for the Eels. Two minutes left. Sivo. Well, oh, they just got to slow this down, Parramatta. Fine. Sap up some seconds off this clock for one last big defensive set. Got to be careful of that play there, the one-on-one -on -one strip from the Cowboys. The Eels have only won two of their last eight preliminary finals. They're almost there. That chance to break the Premiership drought is one defensive set away for Parramatta. One more chance for the Cowboys. And the Cowboys will get a seven tackle set as that kick goes dead. This is it. One minute and ten seconds remaining. One of these teams about to head into the NRL Grand Final. It's looking likely it's going to be Parramatta. But the Cowboys with a full set here for Ruben Cotter. Charges towards the halfway line. 40 seconds remaining. Jordan McLean with an offload. Robson finds Dearden. Dearden with a hammer. Hammer so Tabu Ifido. Still going. Grounding well. He stopped him. Quick play the ball. 24 seconds remaining. It's with Scott Drinkwater. Luciano Leilua. Valentine Holmes. 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 They're 12 metres away. One more play. It's tackle four. Townsend. Now it's with Dearden. Nanai knocks it back. He picks up the ball. No, he doesn't. The no. Eels have got it. Bailey Simonson's got it. And that will be full time. Wow. Full time in the Eels. Are into the 2022 NRL Grand Final. A thriller. Parramatta win by four. And the Parramatta Leagues Club's just exploded. Oh, they've gone nuts down there for sure. There they are. <laughs> Sterlo's in there somewhere for sure. That's a great effort.
classy effort by Parramatta. Outstanding rugby league by them for 80 minutes. That's one of the toughest games I've ever seen. They haven't played their grand final since 2009. Melbourne beat them on that occasion, but at least they're there, they get another chance. And tomorrow night we'll find out, Penrith or South Sydney. Take a bow, both teams. Well done, Parramatta. A chance to break the drought next week. Full time in Townsville. Heartbreak for the Cowboys. Jubilation for the Eels. Parramatta 24 have defeated the Cowboys 20 in a thriller.